Hey guys, it's Nick here again. Um, well, first of all, um, I noticed that I'm two subscribers away from 800 subscribers, so be prepared for a video for 800 subscribers. Uh, second of all, um, I'm enjoying an orange crush. Okay, but I thought I'd let you guys know. Okay, so I recently played the Fear 2 demo like a couple weeks ago. I loved it. Um, all I saw was like this huge robot and it was about to attack and then the game fades to black and the credits roll or whatever. So I decided I tried to find a copy of the game. Not many stores had it and luckily the store had two copies so my dad decided to buy one and I decided to buy one. So um, I bought it and I, I didn't even know. I, I had to do this because I didn't. I don't even know how to I don't even know how to get the thing out. It, it would not come out. Anyway, it gives me a CD key, right? And you have to enter it in Steam. Now, thankfully, I already have a Steam account, so that I mean, I, I've had it. I mean, it's on my page and stuff. Now, anyways, um, so I entered in the CD key. I I do it like a million times, so I know this is right. I know like I didn't get anything wrong or anything. So um, it says the key's a duplicate, and I don't know how because they told me at the game store this was like a brand new, never opened copy. I mean, they, it is like brand new, never been used. I'm probably thinking someone probably like got a pirate, like did a key generator thing on it or whatever. Maybe that's how it happened. I don't know. But point is, it says my key's duplicate. Someone's already used it. And it's like, well, how is that possible when this is like a new copy? So I email Steam about it and actually I'm still waiting for a reply. Now usually they're good about replying. And you know, if I had to, I could actually go down to their offices. It's in their, their offices are in like Kirkland or something like that, right? So, um, I mean, I live in Washington, so I mean, I'm not too far from there, luckily. So, like, if I did have a big problem, I would go down there and I would, um, yeah. Now, luckily, this other game store has a copy of it, so I'm going to try buying it today and see how it goes. I mean, I, I hope I hope that the CD key for that one works, because if it doesn't, I'm going to be pretty pissed, because... You know, I, I got my dad's copy worked. By the way, his copy worked. Uh, mine's mine doesn't though. And I don't know. Like I said, they said this was a brand new copy, and I believe them. It was like wrapped in the plastic. It was like, mm -hmm. and the CD the CDs don't even have a scratch on them. So I, I would think it's like a brand new copy, like they like they said, and even said on the sticker or whatever that it was new. So. Um, now I know this game probably came out a while back, but I think I I, I mean still it's like new. You know, so I'm kind of pissed about that because I I actually thought it would you know I, I was actually expecting that last night to actually go home, play some good old Fear Two, and lo and behold, you can't do it because Steam thinks that this key's been duplicated. So so on, like I said, I'm thinking someone probably did use like the key generator to get the password all. All in man, I was kind of guilty of that a long time ago, but now I am. I mean, now I'm legitimate about stuff. I mean, if I'm gonna get a song, I try to see if iTunes has it. The only thing I pirates, I guess you could say pirate. I don't know, is the video game music. But that's okay because you know that most of those companies have went out of business and can't really, you know, they can't really defend their right to not have the music pirated or anything. Plus, besides, I've asked some of the musicians that I've been able to get a hold of, and they've actually said it's okay, so I'm, I've done it. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, that, that sucks, but I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I, hopefully, the store's copy has a key that actually works. I'm thinking it will, but it's to me, it's kind of like a 50 50 chance. I, I don't know. Um, so, you know, I was kind of pissed last day. I mean, I wasn't, like, overly, like, Nintendo nerd pissed, but I was like, you know, well, that sucks. So, I mean, why would they do that? Um, uh, now you're, you're probably thinking, well, did you enter the key with the dashes? Well, yeah, but then uh, this special screen came up when I tried to install it for Steam, and it would set, and it said, um, it had, like, the boxes for each, like, section, so, like, you don't have to put any dashes in. And even add that, I, I did the add the game, activate a product on Steam, and I did it without the dashes or whatever, and it still didn't work. Still said it was duplicated. So I assume someone actually did pirate this this version or something. That's all I could think of. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's just a screwed up key. I don't know. For all I know, I, mean, I don't know. 
But anyways, I thought I'd tell you guys about that because, well, I, I, I'm thinking Fear 2 is a good game. Anyone who's played it probably will probably like it. I'm, I, I, I don't know why they wouldn't like it, but, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, I guess I just came here to bitch at everyone. <laughs> I don't know. Um, also, on Bart vs. Space Beams, I think I, on the second level, I got past the huge shoe boss or whatever. No. After that, I died, and looks like some guy walking in a pillow or something. I don't know, like a pillow with legs or something, and that thing killed me, and I lost. So, I mean, with enough practice, I get to the first level without dying once. But you know, I, I haven't played any Espers for a while. I should probably do that sometime. Uh, unfortunately, you know, I I spent my 20 bucks last night, so I can't get that copy complete in box. But oh well, they'll they'll probably still have it. Um, and I actually try to get a, and like I, like I said, if you want to make donations, feel free. I mean, there there is a game I'm I'm trying to get a hold of. I'm trying to get like Dirty Harry complete in box. Now, yeah, it, it's not so much money. It's like five ten bucks for a box copy of it. So I'm I'm I mean, well, I I don't have a PayPal account or anything, so I can't really get my money in it. I can't really go on eBay and buy it. Otherwise, I would. You're probably like, well, why would you want to buy such a shitty game in the box? I don't know. I guess I just do. <laughs> I don't know. So anyways, that's about it. I, I thought I'd tell you guys about Fear 2. Um, and if you have played Fear 2, why don't you tell me? Is it a good game? I When I played it, I did like it. Okay. There were a few things I didn't like about it. Like, I don't know if it's because it's just a demo version and doesn't have all the features or what. But I couldn't like lean to the left and right like the first game. Now I don't know like I don't know if that's because it's a demo version or if that's actually a part of the game if you can't do that. Because that that makes it more realistic. I mean, why would they want to remove it? I mean, I know they did in Far Cry 2. I haven't played that one, but my dad has. I do have the game keep my video card, but I don't have the key, so I can't play it. Um, but my dad said it kind of sucked because you don't play as the same guy. Um, Jack Carver, I think is his name, and um, all, Far Cry was a pretty cool game. My only problem with it was that it was so hard. And I was going to say the F bomb, but I'm trying to cut down on swearing. I'm doing it so much. <laughs> and um, so, like, yeah, Far Cry is probably the hardest game I've ever played ever. Um, now. I mean, I'm playing it on the easiest difficulty, and I'm still getting killed a whole lot. And you're probably like, well, then you just suck at games. Well, no, I'm serious. I'm good at FPS games. It's like, those are like my favorite kinds of games. But, I don't know. I just keep going. I just keep dying. I don't know why. I just do. So, anyways, um, I guess I'm probably going to stop bitching at everyone and play some Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. But, yeah, I'm almost at 800 subscribers, and I do think each and every one of you, if you do a sub, you, if you sub for sub, um, Although, to be honest, I really don't do that anymore. But anyways, thank you for watching. Oh, yeah, I gotta talk about somebody really quick before I go. It's not the bad, don't worry. This guy's name is... What is it? Superman1234393. This guy is, like, requesting up the ass that you, like, all the versions of Uninvited, all the versions of Deja Vu, and all the versions of Deja Vu 2, all the versions of Shadow Gate. Yeah, he wants to be all those guys. I, I don't know. I, I wanted to do the MS DOS version like really badly of Deja Vu 2, but I, I keep getting that glitch. And, you know, I run it on XP itself. It still does it. So I don't know if I need like a certain file for it or what. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know why it's not working, but it just isn't. So I can't play it. I really love to. I mean, I promise if I can get that one working, I would so do a playthrough of it, but I can't. So, because that glitch happened. So if someone knows how to fix it, hey, contact me. I will. Um, I already made a video to show what happened or what the glitch is. So, or whatever. It is. I guess it's a glitch. I don't know. So, anyways, yeah, I'm gonna try to pick up another copy here too. See if it works, and hopefully it does. So, thank you for watching, and peace out.